Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. In this video we will be doing a Gemini Jets Airport update of Anchorage International Airport, so I hope you do enjoy. Also, a large percentage of those of you that watch my videos are not actually subscribed, so if you do end up liking this video, please subscribe to my channel. Let's get straight into it. Starting off on the runway here we have the FedEx 777 Freighter. This is just getting ready to roll down the runway before it does a flight out to Osaka. We will be starting off at the International Terminal, also known as the North Terminal. This is summer seasonal, so we are in the summer season right now. So we do have international carriers at the airport today. Iceland Air did recently just pull out of Anchorage due to the coronavirus situation but we're going to pretend they're still here so that we can have some international carriers in today's update. So starting off, we have this Iceland Air 757-200. This is in the Hekla Aurora livery and just arrived in from Reykjavik, as you can see, Reykjavik Keflavik. Moving right along to our last international gate, Anchorage is not known for international flights unless it is through cargo. They don't really particularly focus on passenger flights that are international. But our last gate is the Iceland Air 757-200, loading on passengers as well as baggage. This is in the 80 year strong livery and will be doing a departure flight out to Reykjavik Keflavik. Starting us off at our cargo section, we have the Atlas Air Boeing 747-8. As you can see, it has the crew loading on as well as the baggage getting loaded onto the front of the aircraft as well as the back of the aircraft. So it's getting heavily serviced for a flight out to Seoul. Even though Anchorage is not a particularly busy airport for passenger aircrafts, they are, I believe, the third busiest in the world for cargo. And unfortunately, I was not able to resemble that because they have like hundreds of cargo flights that come in and out every single day. Um, but I did have a few good aircrafts in here, such as the 777, the 747. And um, yeah, so this UPS 747-8 is just getting ready to push back. It is currently getting fueled and catered and the crew is boarding on for a flight out to Hong Kong. Next up, we will be doing the taxiing aircrafts, and right here we have the Alaska 737-900ER. This is in the More to Love livery, and will be doing a departure flight out to Los Angeles. And as you can see, it is taxiing past the Alaska Airlines terminal. Next up, we have the Alaska Airbus A320. Now you may not know, but Alaska Airlines does not send their Airbus aircrafts to Anchorage mostly. So this Airbus A320 will be doing a maintenance flight out to Seattle Tacoma. Next up we will be doing the Alaska gates at the southern terminal. Starting off at the very tip of the southern concourse, I'll put a picture up now so you can use that for reference of where we are starting. But anyway, right here we have the Alaska Embraer E-175 just getting passengers loaded on as well as fuel loaded onto the aircraft before a flight out to Dillingham. Moving right along to our next aircraft, we have the Alaska 737-700. This is in the new livery and it just arrived in from Fairbanks and will be doing a departure flight out to Kodiak. Moving right along, we have another Alaska 737-700. This is in the old livery, as you can see, and is loading on passengers and fuel for a flight out to Barrow, and it arrived in from King Salmon. Moving right along, we have a Alaska 737-900. This is the non-wingleted one. It just arrived in from PDX about 20 minutes ago and it's now loading on passengers and baggage for a flight out to Las Vegas. Next up we have the Alaska 737-800. This is in the new livery and is getting serviced for a flight out to Chicago O'Hare and it arrived in from Denver. The Denver route does not start till June 17th. 
Next up, we have the Alaska 737-900ER. This is in the More to Love livery, and I just arrived in from a flight in from Phoenix Sky Harbor, and it'll be heading out to Nome in about 30 minutes. Moving right along to the other branch of the Southern Terminal, we have the United 737-800. This is in the old livery and will be doing a flight out to Denver. The route just recently started back up, I think a few days ago. So that's very nice to see United back here. And it'll be heading out to Fairbanks. Next up, we have the Delta 737-900ER getting fueled up for a flight out to Seattle, Tacoma. Recently, Delta did just announce a bunch of new routes, including Detroit, Los Angeles, and New York JFK out of Anchorage, so it's very nice to see Delta expanding here. Following that, we have the United 737-800. This is in the new livery and is loading on passengers and crew as well as the baggage getting loaded on for a flight out to Newark. And earlier, this flight arrived in from Houston Intercontinental. Next up, we have the American 737-800. This is in the One World livery and is loading on passengers, as well as getting catering done to the aircraft before it does a flight out to Dallas-Fort Worth. American does have a pretty small hub here at Anchorage. They only have four routes, which is Chicago Hare, Dallas, Fort Worth, and Phoenix Sky Harbor. Actually, that's three, my bad. So they barely have any routes out of here, but they still are operating here very strongly and getting many daily flights out of Anchorage. Moving right along to the end of the runway, we have a UPS MD-11F this is just pulling off the runway from a flight in from Chicago O'Hare. That does conclude today's airport update of Anchorage International Airport. If you did enjoy, please consider leaving a like on the video as well as subscribing. As I did mention at the beginning of the video, about 77% of you guys are not subscribed who are watching my videos. So I will give you a good reason to subscribe. You can see further airport updates such as this, my brand new Denver International Airport, which, which will be the biggest airport I've ever done, as well as some giveaways in the future that you would have to be subscribed to to see, as well as trip reports and a bunch of other aviation content. I did announce on my Instagram story about a future trip report that'll be coming on Frontier Airlines in August, so you can expect a few more trip reports coming this summer. And um, yeah, so that's about it for all of my news. I hope you did enjoy this airport update as it did take a lot of work. Also, if you're not following my Instagram, please go do so. It is milehigh underscore aviation. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a good rest of your day or night, wherever you are from, and goodbye.